Liz Murray. Author and motivational speaker Liz Murray was born to drug-addicted parents in New York. Yet, against all the odds and without a roof over her head, she returned to high school at 17 and went on to win a scholarship to study at Harvard. She told BBC World Service's Outlook her remarkable story. Liz Murray was only three years old when she realized her parents were hooked on drugs. Several times during the day, they would disappear behind a door, spread out the required tools across the table, and shoot up. It was not long until this thin attempt at secrecy unraveled, and Liz, along with her older sister Lisa, was surrounded by addiction, living in filth and almost constantly hungry. As a preschool child, only the monthly welfare checks brought some respite to Liz's life, and she would eagerly wait with her family as the postman approached. Liz and Lisa would walk their parents down to the drug spot, and her parents would disappear up the staircase, buy drugs, and come back down. Only later would the essentials be bought, usually just $30 spent on food for the entire month. Despite the wreckage her parents' drug addiction had caused, Liz was always grateful for her family life. They would eat ice cubes, chapstick, or toothpaste and knock on neighbors' doors for food. But everyone in the neighborhood was living off government checks. Despite the wreckage her parents' drug addiction had caused, Liz was always grateful for her family life. She had a certain peace in knowing we all went to bed under the same roof at night. As her mother's desperation for money increased, that close bond was pushed to breaking point when Liz's grandmother sent her a birthday card containing $5, only for it to be stolen by her mother to buy drugs. But after Liz confronted her, her mother flushed her drugs away. Her mother began begging to forgive her. Liz later found out that her parents had been sharing their needles with other addicts, and, in 1990, her mother was diagnosed as HIV positive. Liz eventually ended up on the streets with a mother in and out of the hospital and a father who was still heavily addicted to heroin. In 1996, just before Christmas, Liz's mother died. Her mother's death inspired Liz to change her life. She decided to go to high school, even though she was still homeless. After many rejections, she finally opted for an alternative high school, Humanities Preparatory Academy in Chelsea, Manhattan. Liz was beginning high school when most teenagers were graduating, but she promised to become a straight-A student. As she neared the end of her high school education, and with her straight-A grades, Liz was taken on a school trip to Boston, her first time out of New York. Sensing her excitement, a teacher suggested she apply to Harvard, but, with no money and still homeless, a secret she had kept from everyone at school, Harvard seemed out of reach. Liz had to detail what obstacles she had faced to achieve academically for the scheme. There was one scholarship from the New York Times. $12,000 per year, every year of school. For many of her friends and teachers, it was the first they had heard about her past struggles. They were people who read the article, got in their cars, drove to the school to help her. She never slept rough again. She received a New York Times scholarship for needy students and was accepted to Harvard, where she began classes in 2000. She transferred to Columbia University in 2001 to be near her father, who was dying of AIDS. She took a leave of her studies in 2002 and returned to Harvard in 2006 and graduated in 2009. While she was there, she began public speaking, helping people who, like herself, had an almost impossible mountain to climb to succeed in life. Now she makes her living as a motivational speaker and founder of Manifest Living, a company that offers workshops for people wanting to change their circumstances. She is a motivational speaker, a renowned author, also pursuing masters in psychology from Columbia University. Liz's story is a lesson of hard work, forgiveness, optimism, self-confidence, and living in the present. It is a wonder how she forgave her parents. Instead of blaming them for a miserable life, she focused on higher goals. Opportunity always knocks on the door when we are prepared. Sometimes life seems to be a raw deal. But we should understand that many others are fighting tougher battles than us. Never let problems come in the way of dreams. Problems fade away with time. Success stays. Liz Murray quotes. There's always a way through things if you work hard enough and look close. It all depends on your level of determination. Life takes on the meaning that you give it. This fork in the road happens over a hundred times a day, and it's the choices that you make that will determine the shape of your life. Anything that is within someone else's reach is also within yours. Set your goals, no matter how impossible they may seem. Then focus on what is between you and that goal. And then, simply take out the obstacles as they come. The lesson that people can't give me what they don't have, and if there's anything I took from it, it was, okay, I don't expect anyone to hand me anything. There's going to be me in the world. 
Instead, what I was beginning to understand was that however things unfolded from here on, whatever the next chapter was, my life could never be the sum of one circumstance. It would be determined, as it had always been, by my willingness to put one foot in front of the other, moving forward, come what may. Thank you for watching the video. Do like and subscribe for daily updates.